Hi, welcome to Penn Baywatch. I'm Stacy Kumi, your host from Penobscot Bay Regional Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for joining us today. This is a great show that brings you all things community, all things business, and lets you know all of the great happenings that are going around in our area. You may wonder where we are again today because of course each segment changes and we're always in a new location. I'm really excited about our guest today and what we're going to be talking about. So without further ado, I will let her tell you a little bit about what she does, her name, and her business. Thank you, Stacy. Hi, I'm Dina Davis. I live in Thomaston, Maine, and I'm the owner of Dina's Barefoot Book Nook, which is a traveling bookstore and an online bookstore at barefootbooknook.com. And I sell beautiful barefoot books. They're published by an independent publisher from England, and they have an office in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And I discovered them when my first son was born, and I did not want to go back to teaching, wanted to stay home and raise my children. And this just seemed like the perfect fit for me to continue my passion for literature and to be involved with a wonderful publisher. And so I started setting up at uh, craft fairs and had open houses at my home and for the past six years have developed a loyal following of customers. I offer uh, fundraising for nonprofits and do book fairs at private preschools and am also working with a few local elementary schools in this area on the mid coast. Maybe it, we could just sort of dig into some of the wonderful things you have in front of us. Absolutely. This is a beautiful display. Can Thank you tell you. us a little bit about the different types of, of products you have available so when people see you, they know what they're coming up to see, first of all. Sure. So we have um, books, of course, um, books for little people, like there's a cow in the cabbage patch. And this is illustrated by a lovely woman, Claire Beaton, who's from the UK. And she uses fabric and felt in her illustrations, which are very humorous and, and colorful. And we have books with sing-along CDs for the toddler and preschool crowd. And this is a hole in the bottom of the sea. And it is sung by the Flannery Brothers, who are um, main uh, born and raised um, guys, Dan and Mike, and this is one of our newest sing-alongs. Um, we also have beginning chapter books, and um, Barefoot is very well known for their tales from different countries around the world. So we have collections of stories like uh, the Barefoot Book of Earth Tales up here um, that are ecological tales from different countries and it comes with different eco activities in the book um, and then barefoot also publishes the classics like robin hood and greek myths um, the adventures of odysseus for some of the older readers um, here and then barefoot partners with um, different companies folk manis puppets so we have wonderful finger puppets and um, hand puppets to go with different stories which are very fun so for example we have our macaw that pairs very nicely with portside pirates this is one of our best-selling books so it's, it's nice that you have such great products that can take families from really birth all the way well into the reading stages. So yes. I'm sure you enjoy creating experiences for families that are really very long lasting. Yes. Once people are probably hooked into to barefoot, they keep coming back. They do, yes. And I know I see you everywhere in the mm -hmm. community. So you obviously are able to, to be really flexible with where you can end up setting up the display. Yes. And can you tell us a little bit about you know, what you offer to be able to connect with community, uh, where we can usually see you at? Sure. Um, yes, I love this business because I, in addition to doing the traditional home party, like a Tupperware party, I'm able to set up at fairs and festivals all, all around Maine, really. Um, and I also carry some handmade um, gift items, and so I'm able to set up at a lot of craft fairs that I normally wouldn't be able to. I have felties from Storyteller Moon, um, reusable snack bags from Pipsqueaks, and um, some block print cards from Sweet Tree Arts. 
um, created by Lindsay Pinchback in Hope. And what I really love is setting up at events like the Lobster Festival in the children's tent where I offer uh, story times and different activities um, for families. And then um, from the sales at an, at an event like that, I typically donate books or funds to local nonprofits um, or local libraries. Well, that, that's a really nice piece to not only um, connect families to the information, but then to also share back with our community. And I'm sure as families continue to see you, they begin to think of you, you know, again, as uh, related to great children's stories, related to great uh, experiences for growing up. So yes. they, they look at you in that way, mm -hmm. not, oh, that's Dina who sells the books. Yes. <laughs> so you're yes. about really creating those right experiences for families to be able to connect to one another. Yes. Yeah, those are my very favorite favorite opportunities are doing story times at libraries and farmers markets. Um, that's one of my new new favorite venues um, because I can put the picnic blanket out and have books for families to read and different um, eco activities to go along with the stories. So. It just makes going out that much more fun because someone may not expect to run into you maybe at exactly. the Lobster Festival or the Farmer's Market. These are all great things that we're all doing with our families. So connecting them to reading and as you said, sort of promoting literacy early yes. on. There's just great messages associated with that yes. as well. Can you tell us a little bit more about sort of the online aspect for how people can connect to information with you online? Sure. Um, and that I get asked a lot, where's your store? Um, <laughs> My store is in my dining room in my home, <laughs> and so occasionally I have people over for open houses. But the best way, um, if you're not local to me or you need a book right away, um, is either to give me, send an email to barefootbooknook at gmail.com or visit my website, which is www.barefootbooknook.com. Can you tell us a little bit more about kind of the barefoot books? books. <laughs> uh, I know you mentioned mm. that there's different stories from different areas. Uh, are they frequently coming out with new new books, new products? H how does how does that work with sort of the Barefoot Book Note concept as a whole? Okay, so Barefoot Books um, is a traditional publisher, small publishing house. Um, one of the things I love most about them is that they stopped selling through the big box stores and recently stopped selling directly to Amazon. They're very supportive of independent bookstores um, like we have in our community and they started this home-based selling model, um, but they still publish um, on a traditional publishing schedule. So we have new titles coming out every, um, every season. And um, so that's really fun to be able to share new titles with mm -hmm. my loyal customers who keep coming back to see what's new and adding new puppets to the line. Or um, now we have cooperative board games from Peaceable Kingdom Press, which have been very popular that families can play together and there's no one winner. Everybody works <laughs> together. So it's nice yeah. that if people have experienced um, you know, meeting with you or, or buying some of your books, they'll also want to stay connected through what you're offering at the website so they can yes. stay attuned to any of the new products that you have, mm -hmm. the new offerings, and, and how things are, are yes. all working together, or how they're transitioning maybe to that next age group Yes, to, as well. Right. I also have a lot of people following me on Facebook and Twitter. Perfect. Yes. Um, uh, Facebook page is Dina's Barefoot Book Nook, and Twitter, I'm Barefoot Buzz. Very nice. Can you talk a little bit um, on the personal side more about the mm -hmm. flexibility of the role and how, mm -hmm. how this works well, as you said, you know, kind of wanting to go down this path after your first son was born and maybe not return to teaching. How mm -hmm. has that flexibility worked with you? Uh, is it successful? Is it work with the company? Can you tell mm -hmm. us a little bit how, how that plays out? Sure. Um, yes, it really it fit, um, fit my decision to to stay at home with my firstborn who has special needs and he had a lot of doctor's appointments and um, therapy appointments at the beginning of his life. Um, and so I needed, I wanted to be making a contribution financially to the family and being able to work on the weekends when my husband could be home to watch our son um, and being able to work during um, or being able to take him to story times at toy library or libraries, um, he was part of things. And now with my second son, it's working the same way. Um, I'm able to bring him to book fairs during the week and 
um, for the most part, he's cooperative and they actually um, enjoy helping, which is really fun. So it's, it's nice to connect personally with you on the story as growing as an entrepreneur with mm. the business and that the business itself really fits with your, your family, your lifestyle, your personal desire to really connect families to these great books. So mm -hmm. it's a nice, uh, I think, story all the way around mm -hmm. to share with the public on, on how to do these things right. and that you can be successful with a variety of models that, right. that we have around. Yes. Okay, I, I am looking at, I see this yes. kids' kitchen, kids' garden. I haven't yes. heard you talk about that one yet. So, so what okay. are those? Are those games that I'm seeing over there? Kids, Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, Kids' Kitchen and Kids' Garden are activity decks. Um, Kids' Kitchen is 40 healthy recipes that families can make together, and they happen to be all vegetarian recipes. And then Kids' Garden, um, those are all gardening and outdoor activities and games that families can enjoy together, and really during all seasons. Um, some are indoor and some are outdoor and those are really fun and I'll actually be featuring those at Taste of Thomaston in a few weeks. Oh, and that's really <laughs> neat because you, you hear a lot about that whether it's in you know the preschool programs or even just mom groups you know all these types of things where we want kids out we want them to be active mm -hmm. we also want them to be active in the home and learning things so it's nice that it goes it's the books are fabulous but it also goes into the experiences that you can create with your family members yes so how enjoyable and i love yes. what you talked about with the games i wasn't as familiar that that you mm. offered the games as well and okay. what kind of age groups um really are, are most of the games serving the cooperative games are mostly for three and up um, and really for children of all ages but i think geared towards the the younger, um, younger children, but we do have some matching games for older children and of course the activity decks. Um, one activity deck that really is fun for the whole family is yoga pretzels. <laughs> that just sounds fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we won't demonstrate. <laughs> right. No, we shall not. Um, but I do have, um, there are music teachers in the community, um, Jessica Day with Music Together, and Jessica Shepard, who has J Ma Yoga, uses um, a lot of our books in um, their, the, their offerings to families. Um, and I've had uh, Patty Christensen, in, um, who owns the Thomaston Yoga Studio, has offered some children's yoga classes using yoga pretzels. Um, so that's one of the other, the other things that I really love about the creative economy on the Mid Coast um, is working and collaborating with other small business owners. Um, so, for example, I've offered story times at Zarafa um, to help them get customers into their new store, and um, they were supporting my business. And then also the Highlands Coffee House in Thomaston, um, we were having a monthly story time, and when they were first opened, to help bring new um, customers in, and it was a really great relationship. And it's really nice yeah. to help um, a lot of these new businesses or even businesses that have been around for a while, help um, focus their efforts on families. Mm -hmm. Because again, that, that can, can be challenging at times when you have small children. Mm -hmm. uh, oh gee, is, is that gonna be a family friendly location? So it's, it's right. a nice way to have you featured as well. So you mm -hmm. think, oh perfect, this is a great place. We'll definitely feel welcome. Right. And we can create a positive experience so we'll yeah. want to revisit. So that's a nice piece. Yes. Now you are a lot of places <laughs> yes. as well. So I, I know, as I said, I, I see you frequently. Mm -hmm. uh, how can people <laughs> We'll figure out where you are next. Is mm. that, as you mentioned, Facebook a good opportunity yes. for that? Yes, Facebook is a great place and the website, barefootbooknook.com. Um, I have a list of events. Some are community events, some are at you know public schools or uh, libraries. Um, but yes, that's the best place. Mm -hmm. But people can always send me an email and I do have customers um, who are not able to travel, and so I will um, come with a selection of books um, and visit them and let them look through baskets of books. Um, and then I've also had some creative um, little parties at dentists' offices and hair salons. And um, I really, I think this suits my personality. If I were sitting in a bookstore all day, I might get a little restless. Um, and so I really love bringing my store or a selection from my store to different different locations. And I think it's really nice that you create the opportunity to connect personally. 
mm -hmm. with people. So it really, again, becomes about you helping them to, to determine, you know, maybe they have some ideas in mind of what they're looking for, but you're helping them make that connection yes. to, to what they're looking for, uh, to get the right things for the right age group, and really just mm -hmm. to know why you do what you do. And that, that's yes. what makes the business that much better. Yes. So it's, it's great when people do choose to connect online or do mm -hmm. choose to connect just with Facebook, but I would highly encourage you to get out to one of Vina's events because it's great <laughs> to connect with her personally, yes. um, really to share in that experience for why you're, you're doing what you're doing. So you're just talking about visiting people in their homes and maybe taking books in to share with them Right. Maybe that they'd want to be buying, but what other ways are there to maybe be hosting something in your home? Yes, so there is that traditional home party, except that I like to give mine a twist and call it a barefoot book look. Um, very low key. Um, some people are a little bit nervous about home parties and being pressured to buy things, and it's really just an opportunity to share the books with people and um, and get to for them to get to see them up close and personal and and I can offer recommendations. Um, the lovely part about hosting a home party is that the host um, receives free product which um, for the holidays a lot of people do take advantage of to help with their gift giving. Um, that's a great idea. Yeah. So obviously with a lot of the things you're doing in addition to the many events, the parties, mm -hmm. everything going on, there's probably different fundraising activities that you also work on from time yes. to time. Yes, so I have been invited by different nonprofit groups to come to existing events to set up and sell books. Um, the Farms to Schools program was one of them. I go to their annual dinner and set up and then donate a percentage of proceeds. So really, um, nonprofits, if, if there's any um, opportunity where they would they have an existing event or we could create an event together, that's something that I offer with my business is giving back um, either financially or with free free books. And that creates a great opportunity because yes. I know you were just talking about as well the events, the partnerships you like to create with area businesses, yeah. and as well as the connections and fundraising opportunities for nonprofits. So yes. can't get much better than that, can it? Yeah. Yes. yes. So what else would you like to share about uh, your business? Well, one of, I, I can't believe that I could forget this, but one of the, um, wonderful things about my business as well is helping other people do what I do um, around the country. So with the Barefoot Ambassador Program, there are um, opportunities for um, people in North America and in Europe to sell from home and sell at different events um, like I do. And really, it's as open um, and flexible to what people are able to put into it. So I have um, a team of ambassadors in, across North America, um, some in Maine, some in California and Washington. I even have um, an ambassador on my team who's in Haiti who um, uses her business to raise funds for a school that she works out there. Um, a lot of giving back through um, these small businesses. Um, but it's really, it's been a, it's a nice opportunity for people who want something with flexibility and very part-time, who want to include their families in their business. Um, my mom in California was my first team member, which is kind of fun. She used to sell at her farmer's market along with her avocados and oranges, so. It all fits. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it's been really fun. So if people yes. are wanting to connect with you to learn more about the business model side mm. of things, um, what's the best way for them to do that? Um, the same. They should. They can contact me through the website, barefootbooknet.com, and through Facebook. Um, yeah. Great. So yeah. you know, there's there's a lot of opportunity. Whether you're coming to see Dina at one of her events, learning more mm -hmm. about Barefoot Books as a whole as a business model, and again, the story you've mm -hmm. shared as far as flexibility, uh, connection to family, and success yes. that we've seen from this. So yes. you know, great opportunities yes. that exist for for people to to learn more. Yeah. So please check out Dina's website, Facebook. Either one. <laughs> learn where she's going to be at next. As I said, I highly encourage you to get out there, meet her, learn a little bit more about Barefoot Books. They're wonderful, and you'll enjoy the opportunity to connect your family to that. I'm sure holiday gift seasons are all great times, yes. too, to connect people into something new. Absolutely. So it's a great time of year, uh, whether you're looking for planning for the holidays, uh, summer visitors, whatever it may be. So please mm -hmm. connect with uh, Dina and check out her Facebook page to learn more about Barefoot Books. So this has been Penn Baywatch. 
Thank you for joining us today to tell us a little bit more about your business. Thank you. I'm Stacey Coomer, your host, and thank you for joining us.